My name is Piers Keen. I'm a consultant ophthalmologist at Moorfields Eye Hospital. Moorfields Eye Hospital is the oldest eye hospital in the world. In terms of worldwide basis, more than 285 million people have some form of visual impairment. And one of the key things is that in about 80% of those cases, if those patients are diagnosed and treated, that visual impairment is reversible. The way that we diagnose retinal diseases is using a technique called OCT. An OCT is kind of like ultrasound, and it gives us very, very high resolution images of the back of people's eyes. OCT imaging at Moorfields, and in fact at eye hospitals all around the world, has revolutionized ophthalmology to the extent that we now, even in Moorfields, do many thousands of OCT scans per week. One of the challenges that we face is being able to analyze the OCT scans and make the diagnosis in a timely fashion. And unfortunately, that delays people getting the treatment that they need. All the evidence suggests that if we can get earlier diagnosis, we can start treatment earlier and we can save sight. That's why we've been working with DeepMind over the past 18 months to see whether artificial intelligence could help us solve this problem. And so we're really excited now that we have the first results of this work. My name is Trevor Back. I'm the research lead for DeepMind Health. DeepMind Health is researching how artificial intelligence could help solve some of the most pressing challenges in healthcare today. We've been working with Moorfields Eye Hospitals since 2016. We've been exploring whether we can develop artificial intelligence to help eye care professionals analyze OCT scans more effectively than they can at present. That could give them a better and faster understanding of their patient's eye disease. The AI system we've been able to develop in collaboration with Moorfields is able to detect a wide range of different sight-threatening diseases in these OCT scans, and amazingly to the same accuracy as an expert doctor. It's also able to do it while also providing information that enables eye care professionals to review the recommendation that it makes so that eye care professionals can scrutinize that decision and uh, ensure that the right decision is taken for those patients. I believe this technology could lead to a system where eye care professionals can prioritize those patients with the most serious eye conditions. That can take us one step closer to preventing avoidable sight loss.